This is part 10 of Link Tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss ordering operators in Link. Order by, order by descending, then by, then by descending and reverse. All of these standard query operators belong to ordering operators category. Order by, order by descending, then by and then by descending can be used to sort data. Reverse method on the other hand simply reverses the items in a given collection. Let's look at a few examples. Let's flip to Visual Studio. Here I have a new console application. All I have done so far is created the student class with these three properties, student ID, name and total marks. In addition to these three properties, we also have this static method, get all students, which is returning list of student objects. And if you look at the implementation, here we have a variable of type list of student. And at the moment, this list contains four student objects. And finally, this method returns that list back. So now what we want to do is sort students by name in ascending order. So let's flip to Visual Studio. So within our main method, first let's go ahead and print the names of the students in the current order they are in. So console.write line student names before sorting. Let's create a variable of type list of student let's call the students equals let's make use of our student class and the static method it contains get all students which is going to return us the list of student objects now let's use a for each loop loop through each student so for each student as n students list all we want to do is print out student name so console.write line s dot name and then let's print an empty line onto the console. So console.write line. And now we want to sort students by name in ascending order. So again, we are going to make use of our student class in we'll get all students method, which is going to give us the list of student objects. And to sort students by name in ascending order, we are going to make use of this order by extension method and then specify our lambda expression s such that s dot name so we want to sort students by name in ascending order and if i hover the mouse over this order by extension method look at what this method is returning back it's returning back i ordered enumerable of student so let's create a variable of type i ordered enumerable of student and let's call this maybe result and all that is left is to use a for each loop, loop through each student. Let's call this S1. N result. We will go ahead and print student name. So console.write line S1 dot name. But before we actually print student names, what we want to do is print this statement. Student names after sorting. All right, so let's go ahead and run this. Notice that student names after sorting, they are sorted by name in ascending order. Okay, now if you look at the example that we have on the slide, notice that for the result variable, we are using I enumerable of student, but here we are using I ordered enumerable of student. Now, if I use I enumerable of student, is this still going to work? Let's look at that. Let's go ahead and run this. Look at this, the same output. So how is it working with both I ordered enumerable and I enumerable? That's because if we go to the definition on I ordered enumerable, that actually inherits from I enumerable. So that's why we can either use I ordered enumerable or I enumerable to store the results. Right, let's look at example two. So what we want to do now is rewrite example one using SQL like syntax. So instead of using the extension method syntax style, let's use SQL like syntax. So from student in student dot get all students. What we want to do is we want to order by student dot name and we want to order student names in ascending order so I can optionally specify this ascending keyword now this keyword is optional even if you don't specify it by default you know um, students will be sorted in ascending order okay and what we want to do is select student 
alright so now let's go ahead and run this and see if we get the same output look at that the students are still sorted by name in ascending order now let's look at example 3 what we want to do is sort students by name in descending order so how do we do that so let's make use of a student class dot get all students now we are going to make use of order by descending extension method so order by extension method is going to sort them in ascending order order by descending is going to sort them in descending order so order by descending as such that s dot name that's it and again if I have the mouse over this order by descending um, you know it's returning us I ordered enumerable of student so now let's run this so notice that student names after sorting they are sorted in descending order example 4 let's see how to rewrite this using SQL like syntax so from student in student dot get all students now what we want to do we want to order by student dot name in descending order and we want to select such student now notice that when we use SQL like syntax we don't use order by descending extension method instead we use the order by keyword and then specify descending keyword and you will have to specify the descending keyword after the property name right so let's go ahead and run this now and notice the output the students are still sorted by name in descending order that's it for today thank you for listening have a great day